day class. I am your instructor in this morning. My name is Teacher Luis Jade Hambala Ibanez. So before we start our discussion, let us pray. In the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the knowledge that you will be given to us. And I hope that you will guide us to finish this discussion in this day. Thank you always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. Is there any absent? Okay, no. Let's have a short review. What was our lesson yesterday? Yes, Zell Milky. Okay, very good. Our lesson yesterday was about loss. Thank you, Zilmil. Now, who can define clause? Yes, Mil. Okay, okay, very good. A clause is a group of words or a part of a sentence that contains a subject and a verb. So, there are two types of clause. What is it? Yes, Jessa. Dependent and independent clause. Very good. So, what is the difference between dependent and independent clauses? Yes, Jenny. Okay, very good. Independent clause expresses the main idea or thought, while dependent clause is that which can express the complete thought. Thank you, Jenny. Very good. Now, now let's proceed to our next topic. But before that, let's have a game first. Group yourself into two groups. This row will be the group 1. This row will be the group 2. This game is called Build a Sentence Card Game. Players take a turn to pick up and put down cards a day until they can build a sentence that is grammatically correct and makes sense. The winner of this game is the first person to build three sentences or one trump card sentence. Okay? Here is the first picture. Make sure that your sentence is correct. Our second picture. Observe what they are doing in order to create a sentence. And our last picture okay class gets what can you say about our activity okay thank you Jenny it was fun indeed exciting so what do you think will be our next lesson yes it must be related to sentence structure before we proceed to our main discussion here are the things that we are going to do Find and identify sentence structure. Show a proof appreciation of the importance of difference of sentence structure through writing examples. We see construct sentence according to each structure. Our topic in this morning is sentence structure. So there are four types of sentence structure. Those are simple simple sentence, compound sentence, reflex sentence, compound complete sentence. Then it is read what is simple sentence. A simple sentence contains a subject and a verb it, it may also have an object and modifier. However, it contains only one independent clause. For example, she wrote, she wrote. The subject is she and the verb is wrote. Number two example. She completed her literature review. So, she is the subject and the verb is completed. The next is compound, compound sentences. Who can give its definition? None? Okay, here is the definition of compound sentences. A compound sentence contains at least two independent clauses. These two independent clauses can be combined with a comma and a coordinating conjunction or with a semicolon. For example, she completed the literature review and she created a reference list. The first independent process is she completed her literature review. Connected by a comma, a coordinating conjunction and Next independent clause is she created reference is number two example. He organized his source by 10. Then he updated reference is. It is connected by a semicolon dependent clause. Or he organized his sources by theme 
and he updated his reference key. Ghost is our independent, two independent process. The third is the complex sentence. When we say complex sentence, it contains at least one dependent clause, at least one dependent clause. Dependent clause can refer to the subject, who, which, the sequence or time, since, while, or the casual element, because if of the dependent clause. If a sentence begins with a dependent clause, note the comma after the clause. If on the other hand, the sentence begins with an independent clause, there is not a comma separating the two clauses. For example, although she completed her literature review, she still needs to work on her method section. Note the comma in this sentence because it begins with dependent clause. So you can see the comma before, she's, before the independent clause, she still needed to work on her method section. Yes? Okay, very good. Another example is, because he organized his sources, I think it was easier for his reader to follow. Also, this sentence begin with dependent clause, note the comma, before we start our independent clause. It was easier for his reader to follow. Okay, yes? Number three example is, they studied EPA rules for many arts as they were so interesting. Note that there is there is no comma in this sentence because it begins with an independent clause. Okay, get? Just remember that if the sentence just remember that if the sentence begins with an independent clause, there's no need to put a comma in it. And if the sentence begins with dependent clause, just put a comma before we start to write your independent clause. Okay, get? The last one is compound complex sentence. Who can give its definition? None? Okay, let me. A compound complex sentence contains at least two independent clauses and at least one dependent clause. Number one, example, she completed the literature review but she still needs to work on her method section even though she finished her method course last semester. So, who can identify the, the independent clause? In this, the one independent clause in this sentence. Okay, Neil? Okay, very good. She completed her literature review is the first independent clause. Number two independent clause is she still needs to work on her method section. So, who can identify the dependent clause? Yes, Giselle? Okay, very good. Even though she finished her method clause first last year, is our independent clause dependent clause rather number two example although he organized his sources by 10 he decided to arrange them chronologically and he carefully followed the new plan for organization so who can identify the first independent first dependent clause yes you mean okay very good although he organized his sources by team is the dependent clause and our two independent clause is he decided to arrange them chronologically and he carefully followed the new plan for organization are our two independent clauses is there any question clarification about the topic if none let's proceed to our activity in order for your class to better to better understand this topic I will go into group two into two. I mean, you have a group, a while, you group a while ago, so remain, remain those groups, the row one, group one, the row two, group two. All you have to do is to write examples that shows the difference of types of sentence structures. And later on, discuss within the class. I'll give you five minutes to brainstorm or to do it with your group. Okay? okay very good. Five minutes later. Okay, time's up. Group one, please proceed to the front. Okay, very good. Group two. Okay, very good. I can see that you all better understand our discussion. 
I hope that you, you still remember it because I will give you a quiz. A very easy one. So, please get uh, one, one half crosswise. Okay, here is the question. Construct two sentences in each type of sentence structure. Underline the independent clauses in each sentence and integral the dependent clause. You have five minutes to do it. Five minutes later. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, punch your paper, everyone. Okay, very good. Okay. I will go in to check this paper. And then your score in the group activity, I will go in to put it in your key. Understand? Okay, very good. In your assignment, search for the definition of figure of speech in its kind of any kind of good example. Write it in your notebook because we are going to discuss it tomorrow. Okay? Goodbye everyone. Once again, I am your teacher, Luis.